I'm building a 2-axis CNC machine. Most CNC machines are used for making metal parts. But I want to use mine for a different purpose. I won't tell you what it is yet, but it's gonna be one of a kind. In the next few days I want to come up with the mechanical design, order the parts and I want to test the main electronics to make sure they work. Most CNC mills are free axis so they move in three dimensions. I only need two for my needs so that should make things a lot simpler. I'll start modeling and get back to you when I have something to show. I modeled this CNC yesterday. This is the X axis and this is the Z axis and I actually don't like this design. It's too complicated for no reason and doesn't look rigid at all. So today I'm gonna make a second version. I actually do this quite often. At first I model it badly, but quickly. And then once I see the mistakes, I remodel it properly. This is the new design. Again, it has X axis, which is gonna hold the workpiece and a z-axis which is gonna hold the tool. Each axis is made from these two linear rails which constrain the movement and a stepper motor with a lead screw which defines it. The main body is made from these two 20 by 80 aluminum extrusions which are gonna be bolted from the back. To increase the rigidity I added these supports from each side. This design is simpler and looks more rigid but we'll have to see if it correlates with reality. Since the design is finished, I'm just gonna order the aluminum extrusions. These are dirt cheap by the way. I'm also gonna get some of these T-slot nuts so I can screw things into the extrusions. Let's get about 30 of those. And for the holes, I, I'm probably gonna let them drill it because I want to have it precise and be sure it works. Two dollars. Yeah, so I'm gonna drill the holes myself because I want to get the uh, hands-on experience with the drill. Drill experience, yes. All right, the parts should arrive in two weeks, so let's check the electronics. So these are the motors I'm gonna be using for my CNC. They are NEMA 17 stepper motors. And what these do is you send a pulse through this cable and they move one step. These motors have 50 steps per revolution, so each step is 1.8 degrees. And what's great about these is that if you move let's say 10 steps to the left and 10 steps to the right, they return to the exact same position, so they are a great choice for CNC machines. And what I want to do today is to just wire them up and see if I can get them to turn. These are all the electronics I'm gonna need to make this motor spin. It might look scary, but it's actually super easy. This is the microcontroller, which tells the motor how to move. To actually make it spin, you need a stepper motor driver, which generates the necessary pulses. And this is a CNC shield. You just plug it into the Arduino and then you connect the stepper motor driver and the stepper motor. And all this thing does is it makes the wiring easier. I'm also using a power supply to supply the power for the shield. So as I said this is pretty simple and when I turn it on the motor should start spinning. What the fuck? Future me here, I just spent two days solving this issue. I switched the power supply for a larger one, because the old one was only providing 30 watts, even though it should be more than enough for this small motor with no load, but I switched it anyway and it didn't help. I tried all sorts of stuff, but the issue ended up being the microcontroller. When I tested it at first, the motor was sort of turning, so I thought it's okay. But when I switched it for a new one, it worked completely. This is the hardest part about these projects, is always the hardware. Can you hear it? This is the sound of success. Alright, the design is done, the electronics work, now I'm just gonna wait until the parts arrive. 